Hey guys, Brady with iOS Mini Clips, and today I'm going to be showing you how to import your uh, downloaded um, files, movies, and all that kind of stuff from Movie Box to your Xbox 360, PlayStation, PC, etc. So um, I'm going to be demonstrating on an Xbox 360 and a PC for this video. Um, I have a PlayStation at home, so I know it works. Um, so I'm going to be doing Jackass Bad Grandpa. So what you're going to need to do is basically click on it first and check how long it is. This is an hour, 42 minutes, and 13 seconds. So now we're going to go to iFile. And we're going to go to VAR, Mobile, Library, Artworks. And these are all your movies. Now if you have vShare, um, like me, when you click on it, it's going to prompt you and ask you if you want to open in vShare, which really is impossible. Um, or if you want to do video player, just hit video player. And I know this one's Jackass Bad Grandpa because when I click on it, it is an hour, 42 minutes, and 13 seconds. So that's the point of uh, checking how long it is. So now um, there's this globe at the bottom. And you're going to want to click on that. And if you have to be connected to Wi-Fi in order to do this, if you're not, uh, you're kind of out of luck. But this little code right here, this one right here, you need to type in into a internet source on your Xbox or PC, that 192, that's your DNS, not DNS, um, that's your Wi-Fi server, um, so that's the point of being connected to Wi-Fi, and you need to type in the HTTP also, so basically that whole thing. And it, the, that code is different for everyone, so don't uh, use this. So now once you have pulled up Internet Explorer on your console, you can go ahead and type it in. So once you have typed it in on your console, you can now hit Enter, and it will actually bring you to iFile on your console. Evan, can you be cameraman for a second? So now what you're going to need to do is go to the same thing that you did on your device, var, mo whoops, mobile, library, artworks, and then here's all your movies. So now you're just going to click on the movie and make sure to leave this up and you should be watching the movie. Now make sure not to close this out. You can turn off your device, but don't um, exit the app. But yeah, you're pretty much watching the movie in whatever quality you downloaded it in. So yeah, that's how to do it on an Xbox. And now I'm going to show you how to do it on a PC. Okay, so for a PC, it doesn't matter how old it is. Um, so yeah, you're going to go to the address bar of Google. And basically type in that same address we uh, typed in when we did the Xbox. And make sure not to include that period at the end. Just include the HTTP and then all the way to the 10,000 at the end. Not that extra dot. So, yeah. Okay, and once you have your movies pulled up in the artwork section, you're actually going to need to uh, shrink your screen. So you can drag your movie onto the desktop. So I'm going to drag my movie onto the desktop, right there, and now if we go ahead and click on it, a video player will actually pop up, and basically the movie will be playing, so we can go ahead and make this full screen, make this full screen. And yeah, so now you're basically watching any movie from your movie box to any console. And remember, if you have a PlayStation and you click on the movie, it'll ask you to download it so you can permanently have it. Where on Xbox, you can only watch it if you do this process. So yeah, if you like this, rate, comment, and subscribe for more. I hope you enjoy this. And if you have a movie box crash, Check out my channel because I posted a video on that. Bye.